Hello all you lovely people online. Today I am going to show you how to optimize a Divi website for mobile and tablets. Now we have our website here, just kind of a good old straightforward website. To get into things, first we're just going to go into the Visual Builder in Divi. That'll load in here, and then once it loads in, the areas that we want to optimize for a website, we can just actually, you know, uh, one thing we can do, if you click down here, you'll see these options and these will change the screen size depending on what you want the view to be. Like here's tablet view. Now as you can see with tablet view it's a bit uh, bit messed up here with some of the stuff as you can see. And then let's see what it will look like if we do a mobile view. Oof, that's still not good. So here's what we can do here. We're gonna go here, we're gonna select the blocks we want to edit here we are, here's our block. Now we're gonna go back into design. I'm gonna go into text, or no, actually we're gonna go down to heading text. Scroll down. Now heading text size, we have this here. We're gonna click this. So desktop size, it's gonna be 94 pixels. Let's change it for tablet size. We're gonna change this to say, I don't know, 48 pixels. Now as you can see when we go into the phone settings it looks a bit weirder. We have this transparent text that's meant to represent text that's not visible for phone sizes and when we try to change the size of the uh, uh, opaque text we get into some weird issues that we'll get into a bit later. Yeah. So one thing I don't know if I've really talked much about but this is one way of kind of viewing everything within, within your uh, Divi page like the sections, the rows, and all the modules within each row. But it makes it nice because you can like have a bit more of a clearer idea. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to kind of scour for modules. Plus also, if I'm remembering right, you can actually uh, change what they're called. Like, uh, let me see here. Yeah, like, uh, I can change the text here to, you know, be Bilbo Baggins if I want. I won't, I don't want to tick off the client who's a lovely person, but I'll keep it quiet like this for now. So one thing you can do in the advanced settings, you can set where certain text is visible. Here we're going to disable it on phone so that you cannot see this text when it is on a phone screen. There we go. We're going to just check that. Now if we were to test this out we can see that the size of the text will change depending on what screen is being used. Also, one thing to quickly mention, as you can see the uh, welcome right there, it's a bit of a, uh, it's kind of transparent. With the transparent text, that means that that is not visible at this size. And yeah, you can kind of show that there. We will save our page here. Now let's check out what other things look like in uh, different views. Okay, so hmm, it would be kind of nice if these fit more in a different way. I'm going to go into the settings here. Now, in the settings, we can kind of change things around a bit. Here we go. We can kind of do some things here. Like, let's say, let's change the text size. They're at 16 here. Let's go into the tablet size and change it so that it might be a little bit smaller. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go into the sizing section in the design tab and we're going to change the width for the uh, blog sizing depending on what the uh, screen will be. As you can see here for a tablet size we can make it very small for a tablet, but for here we're going to make it something that's a bit reasonable, something that makes it big, but also good for people to see, like say 75%. Or, you know, let's make it more 90%, that's a bit better here, I'd say so. So one thing I'm going to do here for these uh, blogs near the top of the page, I'm going to set the visibility so that they will be unviewable when in a phone or a tablet screen because they're a bit hard to mess with, you can't really change their layout, so I'm just going to remove them because there's a blog thing at the bottom that will also do the same thing here. Alright, let's check out how everything looks now that we've done some edits. Alright, 
I'd say things are looking pretty good on tablet. Remember the transparent stuff is stuff that won't be visible in these views. And yeah, from what I'm seeing, everything is looking pretty solid so far. The background image as well fits really well with each optimization. It's uh, nicely made like that in my opinion. I really like how things are turning out so far. Now another way to check how your uh, page will look at different sizes without manually changing the window size or going through Divi's Visual Builder. On your browser, you can hit Inspect and you'll be brought into this menu. Now one thing to keep in mind, I am using Chrome. This may be different depending on the browser you are using like Safari or Firefox, just as a heads up. But yeah, you would click on this window here in Chrome to open the optimization options. We have it on responsive now, but we can change it to different uh, device sizes. Like let's say we want it to be an iPhone or how about a Surface Duo? We can now see what it looks like with a Surface Duo size we see that there's just a lot of white in this one area, just kind of a long patch of nothing for a Surface Duo. Let's see what it looks like on an iPhone SE. Yeah, it's still the same, I'd say. Now, let's keep, we can check with other things here, maybe an iPhone, or how about a Pixel 5? Again, yeah, as you can see here, regardless of the device we use, there's still a decent chunk of white that separates the background image at the top, the hero image, with the rest of the images at the bottom. Plus, some of the text here in the little blog blurbs goes on a bit too long. We might need to shorten that a little bit, but uh, we'll see though. It looks well, but the biggest thing I see right now is just this long strip of white. And yeah, the text in the blog portion here just looks too long. It's too stretched out for the smaller screens. So one thing we're going to do to deal with the text length, we're going to go into the excerpt length in the blog settings and change the length to around 100 characters. That should make it a bit more reasonable when it comes to the sizing of the text for smaller screens. It won't look too long, so we're going to save here and let's uh, see how everything looks if we were to exit the visual builder. Let's exit it here. We'll click exit. This will load back in here. Things looking good. Let's check how it looks with the inspect feature in Chrome. And yeah, it's a bit more manageable, I'd say. We still have this long chunk of white here though, but uh, the text here though doesn't look like it drags on too long. It's a bit more reasonable. I wish you could set the text length to be different per screen size, but that's just kind of the features we have so far with Divi and we have to kind of deal with the hand we're dealt with, if you know what I mean. But to, to deal with the white chunk, let's go back into the Visual Builder here. And one way that should hopefully deal with this is instead of going into the uh, module settings and making that visible only for uh, desktop and tablet, let's go into the section and change the visibility to be disabled on phone and tablet. Let's uh, check that and let's uh, save and see how this will look now if we were to do this instead of doing just the module being invisible for phones and tablets. Let's exit the Visual Builder here, let's inspect, and let's see how this looks now. And there we go, that looks much better I'd say. The uh, gradient transition is a lot more smoother, it cuts just to the uh, blog post, it doesn't uh, cut things off so that it's just the lesser things here, it's a lot more reasonable we don't have just a chunk of white. And regardless of the view we have, whether it's an iPhone SE or a Pixel or whatever, it looks much better, it goes straight into the content rather than having a little chunk of just nothing there. But one thing you may have noticed though is that regardless of the view, the welcome to try to new sign does not appear at all on the top there. Again, we're trying out all the things, but it seems to appear though when you're in an iPad size. It's only on mobile sizes that it seems to just vanish all of a sudden. This is kind of a weird thing here, but let's see if we can find some ways to hopefully uh, make this better. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna actually go into the settings for the row that has the module we want fixed to the top. So we're gonna go to the row settings, click on advanced, select position. I have it set to relative for this page, but it might be different depending on what you have your page set to. We're gonna go into the phone version of the vertical offset and set it to something maybe around minus 395. Let's see if that works here. We're gonna mess with it a little bit more. Let's string it down to like minus, minus 100 or so. Now this might look weird, we can't see it here, 
But keep in mind also what it will look like in an actual view will be different than how it will be with a uh, Divi Visual Builder view. So we're going to exit the Visual Builder here now that it's saved. We're going to inspect the page here. Let's see how it looks. We'll go in, hit, uh, oh, messed up there a little bit. We're going to go into inspect. Now let's see what it looks like here. And wow, it looks much nicer now. Hallelujah. Things are looking good. It's all coming up Millhouse now, baby. And just one other thing to show you guys. One other thing you might need to look at, because the first thing you're going to naturally think of are smaller size screens, you know, stuff like tablets and smartphones, things like that. But one other thing you want to check is like big, like widescreen style monitors, like the kind of stuff that you wouldn't usually have. So one thing you can do here, like set like the set the size to be much bigger, basically. You can set the size to be a bit larger and then see how it would look with that in mind. So as we can see here, it still looks pretty good despite it being a little bit zoomed out, but still looks pretty good though. And there you go, that's how you optimize a website. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe, and have yourself a lovely day.